Everybody else has a little bit of fun out here. I'm going to give you a choice. We can stay down at my home village of Scott here. We'll talk about my buddies and so on there. Or we can take a trip up across the Bifrost into Asgard. So who wants to go to Asgard? Asgard! Okay, now who wants to go to Skogmir? Skogmir! Okay, it looks like we're going to Asgard. <clears throat> you know, things are pretty exciting up in Asgard the other day. Thor was a ranting and a raging and a rooting and a hollering. He was kicking over back boxes, ripping doors off the hinges, and nobody was paying a whole lot of attention at first. You know, Thor, he's a pretty excited little fellow, does this kind of thing all the time. But when he didn't settle down, finally everybody got together and asked him what the heck was going on. He looked over there and he said, well, I've lost my hammer. And of course, some smarty pants had to sneak yeah, in and say, well, where's the last place you had it? Well, if I could remember the last place I had it, I wouldn't be looking for it now, would I? Everybody had a good laugh. All except Odin. You know, he finally spoke up and said, you know, it ain't going to be too much longer. We're going to have this big party called Ragnarok. And you think it's going to be as much fun if Thor don't have his hammer? So they got together to help him do the break. They turned Asgard upside down and they gave it a good shake. No. Thor was mighty disappointed. I mean, after all, that always works with the couch. <laughs> so they were about to give up when they noticed this big bird flying around over again. They were all going to run and duck for cover when it let out this big squawk and it goes, Boy, you're looking for Thor's hammer, huh? Well, I know where it is. Thor, the king of the frost giants, got it. Said he won't leave it back unless Freya agrees to become his wife. No, well, Thor looks over at Freya and says, Well, let's get your wedding dress. Let's get it going. I gotta get my hammer back. And she looked him right in the eye and said, Yeah, well, maybe you better just get another hammer. <laughs> now I gotta give him credit, they did try. They brought out a bunch of hammers for him to look at. He picked up the first one and looked at it and said craftsman on it. Too small. He picked up the next one and looked at it and said Stanley on it. Never heard of it. Picked up the next one and looked at it and it said Taiwan. <laughs> picked up the next one and looked at it and said Pentagon. Whoa, too expensive. <laughs> picked up the last one and it said Dead Blow. You know, I like the name, but nah, it's just not quite right. So he goes, he tosses it back over his shoulder, and it just so happened that Baldur was a walking by when he did it, and ripped the shade off of him and landed over on Odin's foot, who was not impressed. <laughs> so finally, Odin looks over at Loki and says, you know, you're supposed to be the crafty one. How about you come up with a way that we can go get his hammer back? Well, Loki looks over at Thor, he looks over at Frey, he looks back over at Thor, he looks back over at Frey, and he gets a big smile on his face, and he says, well, if Frey is what Thor wants, Frey is what Thor gets. Frey was not happy with that answer. <laughs> she was about to walk him right upside the head, and he goes, oh, no, it's not quite what I mean, you see. We'll just take one of your dresses, put it on Thor, and let him go get his hammer back. <laughs> Everybody had a good laugh at that one. Oh, it's that Thor, of course. And it was just lucky for Loki that Balder and Tyr were standing by, and each one of them got a hold of one of Thor's arms and held him back there. But you know, Loki never was one to pass up a chance to beat Thor, so he's standing right in front of him, just snickering away and wiggling his ears and his nose at him. I mean, Odin looks over and says, You know, actually, that's not a bad idea, and since it's yours, you get to go with him. <laughs> now, that didn't bother Loki a whole lot being a shapeshifter and all. He just went back from his hall, got into a dress, and changed himself into a woman. Pretty good looking woman. Matter of fact, on his way back to where everybody else was, there were cat calls to wolf whistles and a bear proposal. At least until they figured out who it was they were looking at. <laughs> then, you know, they ran into their first big problem. Because, you know, they brought out a whole bunch of Freya's dresses, and you know, you can only let the seams out so far before there just ain't any seams left. And then these dresses were going to fit on Thor. So they had to make another dress. Took three bolts of cloth, but they finally got it covered, more or less. That was when they ran into their second problem, see, because no matter how much any of them scratched their head or racked their brains, they couldn't come up with a good enough excuse to explain to the Frost Giants just how come Freya had a big red beard. <laughs> so they brought out a razor. <laughs> and they passed it around and around and around and around, and they finally all stopped and looked over at Tyr, who is the bravest of the gods, and he said, you know what, I've only got one good hand left, and I intend to keep it. <laughs> so they gave up on the razor idea, but then your Loki said, hey, you know down there on Midgard, when a woman's going to get married, they put a veil over her head, so that's what they did. <laughs> took another whole bolt of cloth, but they finally got it covered head to toe. Then it took her cloak of feathers, hung it on his shoulders, put her necklace around him, put her belt of gold around his waist, and hung some keys off of it, and then him and Loki got up into his chariot, off they went to Jotunheim. 
Now, to say that the King of the Frost Giants was overjoyed would be something of an understatement. He never expected them to give him Freya for his pride. And truth be told, having Thor's hammer is pretty poor compensation for not having the goddess of love and beauty in your bed. So he was a pretty happy fellow when they showed up and said, let's get that wedding feast started. And got him up into the long hall, and he's sitting up at the head of the table. Right next to him is Thor, Freya. And right next to him is Loki, the handmaid. The Frost Giants, on the other hand, were just a little amazed at all the food and drink that disappeared under the veil of the dainty bride of the Frost Giant King. One side of beef, two roast pigs, and three barrels of meat disappeared underneath that veil. But you know, Loki, he's a really smooth fellow. He just looked over and said, you know, ever since she heard she was going to become your bride, Ray has been so excited that she hasn't been able to eat or drink for seven days and seven nights. So it's not all that surprising she's been really hungry and thirsty. But that Frost Giant just puffed up for pride to hear that she was that excited to be his bride and she figured she'd pin on down there and give him a big kiss on the cheek. He got a hold of that veil and got one good look into those bloodshot blue eyes staring back at him. Yup, and even yet, never seen such bloodshot angry eyes. Well, Loki, he's a pretty good cousin. He just looked over and said, Biz, you know, ever since she heard she was going to become your bride, Frey has been so excited she hasn't been able to sleep for seven days and seven nights. So it's not all that surprised in her eyes would be really red. If that frost giant could have puffed up anymore, he'd have exploded all over that hog. He figured if she's that excited, we ain't keeping her waiting no more, you got sure. Let's get that priest in here and get the wedding started. Well, Loki said you're going to have to bring out that hammer, and we're going to have to say our vows on it, and we send it back to Asgard to seal the deal. Well, bring out the hammer! A few minutes later, three big, burly frost giants, just a-heaving and a-straining and a-huffing and a-puffing, come carry that hammer out, and they lift it up and laid it on the end of the table, and Thor had had enough. He grabbed a hold of that hammer, started whipping it around. He ripped that veil off of his head. Have you ever seen what happens when you scare a cat? <laughs> Let me tell you, the frost giants are just capable of going nine different directions all at the same time without ever leaving the spot they're standing on. <laughs> Not that it did him any good. Not a lot of frost giants made it out of the hall that night. And anybody else ever gets the bright idea to want to try and steal Thor's hammer? Well, they just tell him the story about Freya's wedding. And they give up on that idea right quick. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the story.